the best magical practices to be used as calisthenics should also have universal desirables, desirable results. Magic causes change in the world, so you must be certain you actually want that change to occur. Unlike other skills, magic is virtually impossible to practice without actually doing it. As with the contents of Pandora's box, once energy is released into the world, it's pretty much impossible to call back again. Intent and will re- and will and will very rarely accept. Oops, or oh, I didn't mean it. And undo themselves. That means you must be extremely careful with how you practice as you learn. The exercises outlined here are designed to be positive workings that will be beneficial to virtually anyone at virtually any time. Universal things like good health, prosperity, and good fortune can benefit all practitioners as the results of these exercises are almost always desirable. It's pretty much always appropriate to do them. Weekly Magical Exercises Here are a few quick magical exercises to strengthen your your core magical abilities. One for each day of the week. Note, all of these exercises can and should be tweaked to fit with your current practices or magical system. These can be done daily, once a week, or in, or in whatever frequency and combination works best for you. For maximum effect, no more than one exercise per day is recommended. Monday, definition. Do a simple definition of what I need, need to know about the coming week or when I, when I fo- focus my energies this week, using whatever form of divination you wish to increase your, your skill in. This can be a single card tarot draw, a single rune or bone draw, a tea, leaf wreathing, etc. Confine this exercise to simple, thing, si- simple single interpretation readings rather than multi-object spreads or in-depth explorations of a topic. This, this exercise is less about the information you receive during, during the reading and more about becoming comfortable with the method of definition and recognizing the energies of definition. It can be helpful to write down the results of the divination and how you felt while doing it in order to recognize patterns in the information and to better understand how your energies move while divining. Thank you for another reading. Blessed be.